camp for the night. It was a sweet little spot. We got some animal who came to visit us last night. I don't know, I don't know what it was, but uh, he remembers. Definitely felt it. Emily and Bush already left. They're gonna try to push 16 miles today. I don't know that we're gonna be able to go that far. We got some rain on the forecast coming at one o'clock and then it won't stop till probably after midnight. So we gotta try to make as many miles as possible before or by noon. <clears throat> and then reassess what are we gonna do, what are we gonna stay tonight. Because we're really only 20 miles from Hot Springs. Which is a long stretch, not that we can do 20 miles in one day, I wish we could, maybe down the road. Those days would come with 20 miles per day. But as of right now, I think 15 is really pushing. Especially with rain, I don't know that we're going to be able to do that many today, so we'll see. We're leaving camp and it's a little... What time it was? Nine? So it's a after nine o'clock it's very windy so we'll see how it goes Sign with little sticks and rocks. Food and there's this on that sign. Hidden Trail Oasis. Burgers, free beer. Tuesday through Sunday, 11:30 to 7. Huh. Very nice. Next time. So we've made it to Roaring Fort Shelter, about 1.7 miles or 1.5 miles from where we were last night. This is where we were supposed to make it for last night, but we decided to stay close to the max patch to enjoy the beautiful sunset we got. And this doesn't look as, it's like a very nice shelter. Uh, looks like lots of uh, tent spots, fire pit, Nice breathing down there. Little bar on the side. So yeah, I mean it's uh, it's good. We're just uh, taking a quick spot, quick pit stop to check it out. Sections to uh, get all the air out for me, get some lunch, and assess if we're gonna keep going or stay here. Uh, it's pretty windy right now, so I don't know that I wanna stay here for me. Let's see. Hello, how you doing? This is a tiny, tiny shelter, huh? So we decided to push forward from that shelter we were stopping for a second in, uh, a little while ago. Um, got some lunch and now we're coming down uh, after climbing another peak after that one for the shelter. And it's got really foggy, it's not raining as much anymore. So I wanted to show a little bit of this spooky creepy looking forest but at the same time really really cool lots and lots of smoke oh, it's like 
We're above the clouds here. We're going through out the clouds. We're going to try to get down some and possibly stay at a campsite closer to the feet of the mountain. That will put us hopefully under 10 miles from uh, Hot Springs, North Carolina, so we can get there tomorrow sometime in the early afternoon. All right, so we're passing this super cool looking rock with a cave to keep you off the rain. Nice. So, today is Wednesday. We spend the night at this little corner coming out of this uh, road with no name that I can think of. It's quite a night. Very quiet for the most part. And now we're 6.6 .6 miles from Hot Springs. So we're gonna go right now for a couple of days in town. Some Mexican with margaritas. Fajitas and margaritas. Ooh, yes. Check this preview at the uh, Deer Park Mountain Shelter, which is the last shelter before we get to Hot Springs, North Carolina. We only have like three miles to go, I believe. And we should be in town for a nice day and a half of the cooking. A little tiny thing in the middle of the woods. So it looks like we are arriving to Hot Springs. We're on the last bit of it coming down. You can see the whole town from up here. Looks very tiny. Which is good because I was wondering about that. I wanted to have everything walking distance. I know there's few restaurants, hotels, and then uh, an outfitter in town as well. Because we definitely need to get some gear exchange. Um, so, feeling good that we're here. Last few miles were pretty easy, at least they felt easy. And today we're gonna find a way to get some Mexican food, some fajitas, and drink some margaritas. Hopefully they have them frozen, like I like them. So it's gonna be a good time. To Hot Springs, North Carolina. Look, they have their own 80 plaque in here. So nice. Of course, we're right behind you, stepping on your heels. Hey, hey. How are you? good, good. Glad to see you. Good to see you. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> and I'm not as stretched as I normally am. This is perfect. You get off the trail, and it's here. It's right here. Do, do they have? Text, uh, but I haven't read it. Dan, you have. I, they don't have any private rooms, but they do have a bunk in the bunk house, which is at the tail end. So you do have a bunk. Okay. Well, they didn't have anything else. I know, I know. Go in, you're welcome to see your 
in. Um, we just ask that you kind of keep an eye on it and go ahead and keep it moving. More than likely. I'm kind of washing it and going to town or something. So we have three showers, and there's one here, here, and one hiding back behind the kitchen and there. Oh, nice. That's adjacent to someone's room, so please don't use it during quiet hours. That's all we ask. Um, all the showers have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, towels and washcloths are out here. Don't forget to take them with you in the shower. Otherwise, you'll be begging for help, and yeah, it's just not fun for anyone. Uh, anything in the hiker kitchen that does not have a name on it is open for you to eat. Um, we get donations almost every day, so if you're hungry, please eat the food. Um, if you want to keep like leftovers or something from your resupply in the fridge, just write your name on it. There's a Sharpie and little tags on the um, fridge door. You know everybody. <laughs> I don't think you've not hugged a single person that's come in since you got here. Um, doing, this is going to be your room. I will grab you a trash bag. Um, and just set this down. Yeah, go ahead and set your stuff down. I just finished cleaning it as soon as you got here, so I hadn't it looks quite gotten into the trash bag portion awesome. yet, but let me grab one of those for you. Um, so we do have a loaner clothes whenever you shower and do laundry. They are straight back. Um, and so whenever you are done with your loaner clothes, your towels, or your sheets, uh, when you check out, we've got labeled baskets if you wouldn't mind separating those out for us before you leave um and you're welcome to wear liner clothes in the town this town is 100 percent aware of like they see the same t-shirt <laughs> so that's totally fine we have the hiker box right behind you Oops. um so it's pretty well stocked these are all postcards from people who've like sent us little thank yous after they're done with their hikes we have two bunk rooms because there's one right through here that has TV and Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff. Wow. No one ever watches it, which of I course. think is hilarious. Um, but yeah, so right now I think we have one more bottom bunk left and I'm still cleaning the bunk room over here, but um, there's a little table and chairs and stuff and games to play in there. If you like, but yeah, that's it. So bottom? Yep, that's all you if you want it. And um, if you like want to just go ahead and book for one night, we can do that and then you can decide. Extend it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will say we are almost totally booked for tomorrow, so let, let me know as soon as you decide. What is this call from that? It's just the lodge, the lodge from the Laughing the Heart. Yeah. Laughing Heart Lodge. lodge. Laughing Heart Hostel. All right. And it started out as a Jesuit um, residence Perfect. or retreat. So this is the Laughing Heart Hostel where we're staying. And that's the lodge where we should be staying. Every right. time. I don't know what this is, but it looks nice. Then, this is kind of like something made by uh, aliens or something. <laughs> oh, it's the heart. Going down to the main road on uh, Hot Springs. This is kind of like a, one of the two ways to go down from the hostel. It's like a very nice little town. Not a lot of things going on. Oops. This is the main street. Here's the visitor center, right? right. Visitor center for hot springs. And we're still on the 8th year right here. 
That's the post office. Ooh, I forgot about the post office. Ah, okay. 80 on the floor. Spring Creek Tavern, that's where we're gonna have lunch or dinner later, I think. Then a little river. And here's the outfitter, Love Mountain Outfitters. So here's the outfitter. We already spent quite a bit of money with them since we arrived yesterday. Really good supply of all kinds of things. So definitely come by if you are in town. Get your gear and help the, uh, the town. Basti Rivera Cafe. Getting a little snack so we can make it through dinner about six o'clock. We'll get a little drink. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. Thank you. So we are eating uh, Italian sub. It's really good. So walking around the corner to this nice little store to get numbers stamped on her passport. The Artisan Gallery, awesome place to come hang out at. Great coffee, great ice cream and all kinds of souvenirs. Awesome. Yeah, you do, I got it yesterday. Yeah, you got a stamp yesterday. Teach me! <laughs> did you get this yet? The I sticker? Did. I did not get this. Is it like any stamp? Passport, that, that's the one. Looks like, okay, just a stamp. It's a passport stamp. Oh, right. Post it right there. That way I in gallery. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's it. That's a good thing. Here. I want to make sure I don't do it upside down. Thanks, Shanty. You watch, I'm going to get this upside down. No. Uh, I didn't get it. Okay. Awesome. Don't go. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah. Do you want anything from here? No? Alright. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hot coffee? You want coffee? It's Do you coffee have a white too. mocha? Yeah, we should get a white mocha. Yeah, let's take a coffee to go so we can walk and warm up at the same time. Uh, let me get an American small with cream, cream and sugar, please. So many treats: apple turnover, key lime, chocolates, muffins. Some smoothies, ice cream, and really good variety of coffees. We got a good selection of wines and more and more souvenirs. Bigfoot in person and his wife.
right, so it is Friday morning at 8 20 a.m. and we're leaving the hostel, the Latin Heart Lodge or the Latin Heart Hostel. Uh, and like they said, we came out of here, the AT, and now we're gonna continue. The trail goes through town again, so we're going to get back on the official walk through it till we get back in the mountains hoping to uh, run through the diner in town because I didn't really get to get any coffee in the kitchen so I'm going to uh, try to get me a coffee in the diner going through town heading north to get back into the mountains we're gonna make a quick stop at the uh, artisan cafe get some to go breakfast and head our way we got how many miles today we have 11.3 11.3 miles three, so hey only 11 to go. What do you mean we are on three? We're from the hostel down to here. It's not three miles from the hostel. No, point three. Oh, point three. Okay. I said you said we were done. The point three. three miles. I'm like, what? No, now we only have 11 to go. <laughs> nice. We live in Hot Springs. It was a good stay, I'm going to say. And that's the Artisan Gallery and Cafe. We just had a little breakfast to get us going going over this railroad <coughs> into the mountains again. And we got a <coughs> nice view of the entire uh, town of uh, Quad Springs with the river. came from around there. <laughs> so this is, what's the name of this again? Huh? What's that? What's the name of this? Um, the dam? Down pond. Down pond, okay. So, we've hiked for 11.4 miles and finally arrived to the shelter for the night. Hopefully there's still plenty of room. Uh, it's been snowing for about 45 minutes now, as you can see, it's looking like Christmas again. I don't know uh, if Pat's still here or maybe she pushed forward. We're about to find out. And then numbers should be coming right behind me it's nice I like snow aqua aqua to the right hello hello Or campsite, and it's no one night last night. We survive. <clears throat> this is what it looks like as I get out of my tent. Our tents are still covering stuff. It's probably 29 30 degrees right now, and it looks like that's gonna be snowing. <clears throat> or it's gonna, these weather conditions are gonna remain through the rest of the day up to like 7 p.m. from what I saw on my phone. So we we'll have to embrace the cold.
but it looks like Christmas. <laughs> Start getting my stuff packed and ready to go. I got almost everything already semi put together. So just gotta put it back in my backpack and then take the tent down. <coughs> and we are planning a possible 14 mile day. So we'll see what happens. So we left camp and we're already heading our way to the next spot or possibly getting out of the mountains within the next two miles at Allen Gap. It all depends on how we feel once we get there. Because it's gonna be another full day of cold and snow. But on the Nile way, it is very pretty. And it doesn't feel as bad as last time I did this with snow, where as we were hiking, we were knee deep into the snow at least here the path is well marked it's like i don't know if many people have walked through this already or snow didn't stay on the trail very long to cover it as i was gonna say well just follow the white blazes but when everything is white it makes it a little harder and I would definitely wanna, I would definitely didn't wanna get, I wouldn't wanna get lost on this or with this weather. All right, so we finally <coughs> getting off. Well, not getting off, but you know, getting off the mountain to this gap, Allen Gap. So, we were supposed to stay at Spring Mountain Shelter last night, but we went about a 1.75 of a mile, uh, 1.75 miles from that campsite and camp on an undisclosed, disclose, uh, undisclosed uh, tent site. It was pretty nice. I mean, it snowed all night, and we woke up to a tent cover of snow. Uh, but now we gotta decide if we wanna continue pushing forward. <coughs> for the total of 14 miles or if we are going to uh, or if we're going to uh, get off the, the trail and go to uh, to town again <clears throat> to dash tonight's uh, again ugly weather looks like they're doing a little bit of trail magic here so we're gonna approach and see what's going on and then give uh, give uh, numbers the uh, opportunity to decide if we are going to keep going or not. <laughs> 